paycheck. There is no glory in the work we do. It is a bitter and violent role to play. And we play it well. I am a mercenary. I fight where I'm told and I win where I fight. My actions will not be remembered nor honoured, but will sway the tide of war. This is the story of our last war. The final days of the mercenaries. Dead City, a veritable bastion of zombified stalkers, anomalies and mutants. But more importantly, home of the mercenaries. Well fortified and patrolled by heavily armed marksmen. It's a fortress, but it's also our home. A lighthouse in the storm. Now for all the work I'd done for this corporation, I'd become used to keeping my colleagues at arm's length. But in a place like this, you build such camaraderie, such friendship. These were more than my peers. They were my brothers. But anyway, our story doesn't begin here. It begins down the road in a settlement called the Army Warehouses, home of the Freedom Organization. Some of our best business partners. Hello, I'm Huckleberry. Da, da, da. You know, I really like uh, people like that, huh? Fight with honor. Here, shake my hand. Yeah, for sure. Next time, well, maybe you, fight, won't, uh, fight. you won't hide me at your checkpoint when we come down. Huh? <laughs> uh, da, da. Something like that, something like that, huh? Next time, I'll get you, huh? Just make sure you come down. What, what's your name? Uh, Hugo, Hugo Tower. Hugo, Hugo what Tower. I'll uh, make sure to remember it, huh? My fucking head is all busy now, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but I want to put some ice on it. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a long way south, and have fun. Duh. Have you boys seen any white eyes around here as of late? If they came and uh, said hello, you know? Actually, uh, about like two or maybe three hours ago now, uh, I was on the radio with my prospect. Uh, they came and attacked and what I heard when uh, Robert went out there, there was two dead monolith and Robert was on the floor. Not Robert, uh, my prospect was on the floor. JJ. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they raided earlier. <laughs> Just didn't know if we should expect to see an attack tonight or not. <laughs> One but <laughs> It does, doesn't it? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> and we're getting another piece yes. right here. We are. <laughs> What are we gonna do? I have two fucking exos fucking fist fighting, rumble rumble robots kind of shit. Sounds great. Rumble, much. rumble robots? Isn't it rock'em well, sock'em robots shit. or some shit? Oh yeah, it's, it's rock'em sock'em robots, that's right, man. Alright, begin. Let's go. Jesus. Oh my god, it's rock'em sock'em robots. That's what I said. Oof. After I kick his ass, Falcon. Don't give him any breathing room. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. That's yeah. right. Keep it yeah. up. Keep it up. Uh, come on. Yeah, I'm fucking very uh, What are you guys doing? Stop dancing. What can I say? I love that. Yeah, but yeah, you, but get, you points get points for that in a fight. There you go! There, there you go! go. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. in! Uh, fuck him up! Oh, fuck! Oh, oh yeah! Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I taught you fucking well. Good shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. I try my best. Bravo, hey. Falcon. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Good fight, fight. Oh, you good there? Come on, wake up. Oh, you bastard. Be ready, come on. I'm ready. Locust. We all have to, Kano. Alright. That's very... Let me see that. Tell you what, that's very interesting. Very, very... However, Mr. Quiet Man, I'm gonna have to ask you to put your hands up. Freedom or do not get involved. JJ, put your fucking hands up, now. Involved. Both of you, oh. freedom or do not get up. Oh, oh, raise your hands above your head, you'll be shot. Okay, you said put my hands up. Both of you, you're gonna be putting one hand up, okay? Okay, that's my, yeah. All right. Before you okay. do that, you'll place both your radios onto the ground, PDAs as well, do this now. Okay, do okay. It. Get against the wall on your right. All right, don't struggle with this, all right, please. Make it easy. Yeah. Face the wall. Can you promise this man will come back alive to me? It's not in my business to make promises. So, you're gonna count to a hundred and then you're going to leave, understood? Am I also right. to know why this is happening to my prospect? Look, it's not in our business to answer questions. This contract does not involve you, you're not associated. Stay here, count to a hundred, that's it. Want to end up, follow my associates, do so now. Well, Mr. JJ, we appreciate your compliance in making this easy for us. Didn't have to get messy. Yeah, we get paid either way. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your friend back there appreciates it too. I think they're Oh, he's got you. the gate open for you. Mm, uh, hello, gentlemen. Hello. Yeah. How's it going there, like General? Your package. <clears throat> ah, who is this? Go mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Say hi. <laughs> Oh, yeah. take that we're gonna, we're gonna have, uh, Let's see that. It's like opening a present. It's like mm. opening a present. Is this <laughs> what you're looking for? Oh. Oh. Oh, gentlemen. You, you're too quick with your work. This this can't be. This can't be. Jet. Jet. I got. Why, why are you wearing these ugly flectarn colors? Honestly. Come on. Mm, really. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, he might be mute. Uh, we don't really know. Apparently, he's been uh, he licked the moonlight. Okay, okay. Well, hey, you know, me being me, I got remedies for that. So come on, let's bring him inside. Come on, we'll bring him to the cell. Hey, uh, uh, oi. Which 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 one's this one? Is this? Oh, oh, you you told you told me this. Oh, I always love you you two. Oh, you guys are good. Is that? Can you Who's open that? Door real one bad. Oh my god, it's nice seeing you guys. It was really Basically nice working with you guys while I wasted. Good luck. You know, guys were cool. Look. Usually, no personal commentary is allowed on work, but right now I'm off business. You seemed like a nice person. How a young mind, youthful exploration, wanted to try new things, do things different, and, I, and you ended up getting yourself caught in a rut. That's the way it usually goes. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it's a bit of a shame. You see, Mancy Jet, what's 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 going on here? Why, why are you so nervous? Oh, sir, I would be lying to you if I'm not shitting my pants right now, sir. 
let you sit in it for a little bit then. Yes. Come here, mercenaries. Our conflict with freedom has ended, you know, today. The terms that is two week ceasefire and such, so. I do truly believe they're gonna come down here in a uh, full scale assault and uh, fight. So you guys should try to get it out of the way, honestly, you know. If you want to do it up until the last second, you know, wait by the door and uh, you can walk by them before I shoot jet, you know, something like this. It's really your call, but this is the plan I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm looking to send a message here, you know. Well, executing deserters, you know, it really sends a message. And what I really want to do is send a message to you, Freedom, that no matter what the situation is, I will not bend and I will not fold. We will always fight for humanity and their cause. It's only going to get you killed. With that being said... Put your goddamn hands up. Put your fucking hands up. How many did we kill? We got a good bit. We got a good bit. One EXO is dead. One EXO has a Zastava. They're on the right side shooting over the fence. Reloading. Crack mags. Alright, everyone, regroup on the right side. We're gonna make a push. We're gonna go along the fence and get close. What about the guy on the left? Yeah, one of, yeah, the sniper is on the left fence, like in the truck, shooting at me. On me, on me. He's dead. The war was lost. Our client, Duty, forced to concede, who suffered many losses against the forces of freedom. But we still got paid, and yet something was different after the war. Tensions were brewing, not between duty and freedom, but between us and freedom. I'm going to take your silence as an answer. So because of this answer, what you are going to do is both of you are going to put your fucking hands up right Hold now. Put your fucking hands up. Come on. All right, come on. Drop your sandwich. Eat your sandwich. 
careful of a squad coming from AW. As well, your communications and PDAs. Do it now. Two guys with me. We're watching the road. Let's move here. You. One hand up. Show me your dose. Oh my god, is he gonna die? Two Most men likely. only are required with that man. Only Show two me men. Your dose the rest of you follow us. Let's go. This can be treatable. Yeah, protect yourself. gonna fucking die. Stay away from the old man. Nothing of value is lost. You know, I will give it to you. It's a, it's a smart plan to tell us to head towards X16. But uh, you know, we're not as dumb as you. I mean, that would be a good plan if that's what the plan was. You. Mm. You said the man, the man's name was John back there, dying of radiation. What are your names? Soup. Hi, you go. Mm. Hopefully your man will make it here alive so we can have a more uh, proper chat. Okay, uh, take him inside, handcuff him. He can issue two hands, first of all. Uh, after that, like, let's, let's get him secure first. Let's talk to them later. Go inside. What are you? Get against the wall. Get off the bed. So who do we have? Motherhood will sue. Who's the other gentleman? You go, me. Mercenaries, quite frankly, it seems Scarab doesn't value his life much. Uh, his identity was released, the, the, just a picture of his face, and that makes his life, his life worth, worth, worthless to them. So, for that, sorry, Mr. But, Go uh, fuck yourself. surpassed your views. Money holds no value. The lives of your brothers are worth more in your eyes than any worldly possession. The same could be said for us. Hiding in this place together so long we can build camaraderie. Just like that. Friendships. We showed the value of your lives when we returned your men to you unharmed in return for the rifle of a fallen brother of ours. Yet you did not return this kindness. You took a man with a family a man with a life to go back to, an empathetic heart. And you slaughtered him in his pines. But why? <laughs> Where was his chance at freedom? 
material gain. Two suppressors for a man's life. I said it once to your prospect, CJ. Ideals are just excuses made for truly bad men to hide behind when committing their sins against God and fellow man. Well, that saying has shown its truth. You have taken from us not only a life, a brother, but our sense of reason. You have ventured outside the safety of business and ventured into territory far too dark for you to see. You have made this personal. Good luck. Good night. I'll be seeing you. You three the most, these are the mercenaries. I suggest you come out here and talk to us. If you act tough, you're going to suffer the consequences. Show yourself, mind. you stoner cowards. Get out of your home right now and face us. Free the most, push your hands! It sounds so <laughs> good. Speed. Razor, yeah. do it now. Slava money, motherfucker. Freedom, this is the mercenaries. We're your fucking hands. Give them up. Really? Freedom, let's put your fucking hands up or die. What's up? Freedom, wow. our hands up now. Give them up. Hey. You gotta be fucking shitting Brother, me. Brotherhood, we're not here for you. But for you, on situation. your knees, do no it now. You literally knees. just fought the monolith, you cocksucker show. A boohoo. Don't you fucking move. Do we look like the fucking monolith? Shut your mouth. God. Left hand and right hand, do not struggle. Whoop. Yeah. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Know the consequences if you don't come outside. Wait there, push it all. Bring. Equip it. Part time. Your opinion means absolutely nothing to me. But I am so curious. Do you understand the entire, the entire idea that prison is, is prison is? Mm hmm I understand. Good. Good. Stop at the doorway. Brothers, guard the doors. Understood. I am going to be blindfolding you now, little Artam. And then I am going to be leaving you on this roof. All by yourself. I want to tell you anyways that your customers put a hefty price on your head. Some might say that these customers are even worse than this carab. Whatever happens next is not talk to me. Slava Motni. I talk, talk, talk. The tensions with freedom did not resolve overnight, but in time we realised such conflicts were not profitable, and so we turned our focus towards restoring neutrality, mending our business relationship. The deal was simple, we catch one little defector. Lights or Brilliant. someone else here because they also turned off the lights. Uh, what is, what's your name on the left, real quick? Me? Yeah. Why do I know my name? 
That's scary. It's asking. It's always uh, scary okay. on a mercenary. Well, I'm mercenary Hugo Tower. Mm -hmm. I, don't remember. I remember you. It's been a while. Matter? It has been a while. Oh, oh I hope you guys are well. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm too bad. Okay, uh, Mr. Hugo Tower. And Dudier, I'm very sorry, but post it. Put your fucking hand. I'm up. Target fled towards Rostock. Cut him off. Uh... I did not okay. save. Uh, Corporal Black. They're Black, you're going to step out and come towards me. No. Uh, oh, hey. Right, I'm back. The whole steel firearm and turn around. Uh, can I ask why? Because uh, one of your colleagues thought he was smart enough to shoot at me. Uh, drop your weapon, fire raise your hands. hands or you will be fired. Hey, calm down, okay? Smart move, What the fuck are you talking about? A conversation we needed to have with um, Mr. Hugo Towers. Up Unfortunately, my Mr. Hugo Towers was not a smart man, and he decided to shoot back, getting uh, one of your associates—I don't know who—shot and killed. Myself, injured. One of my colleagues shot and killed. Answer me truthfully. Okay. Hugo Tower, you know him? Do I know him? Is that what she said? You go tired, you know him, you are helping him, you are sheltering him. Yes, you. Oh shit! Who is inside? Uh, go, go ahead and die. Uh, do well, you can also put your fucking hands in the air. We have one of your men hostage. Oh. He's not doing anything. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Oh shh! Your men are not very smart. Scarab is. Black, we just. Why are your men so fucking stupid today? You, you just killed one of my soldiers. Why would I go with you? Fuck you. You've been fired on mine. Come with me now or die. So where are we going? North. Stay right here. Talk to your officer and then we'll do what we do. Your hand down, tell him to come here. After you've told him to come here, you're going to drop your AD on PDA. Head. Okay. So come right here at the gate. Deviate. Who is? So you have a man. One of my men right here. What do you want from him? Here for any of your gain. We're here for towers. You think we're going to roll over on our stomachs because. what? Because of some guy? Because, I mean, if you wanted him, you could have waited until he was out of the city or out of the protection of duty. But you come here into our town, into our home, come to our gates, and show no blame sign of disrespect. We did not come to your gates. We attempted to apprehend him in the field. Unfortunately, you've been harboring him what for some field? time. You've never let him leave your sight, from what it seems. I was not under the impression that um, your men were of the uh, idea to interfere with our contracts. I thought we had a uh, mutual understanding. I mean, if the guy is traveling with duty and helping duty out, then duty's going to look after him, right? Doesn't matter about the situation or regarding the circumstance. Anyway, I don't care about your contract. I care about the guy that you have on your knees, on his knees. So what do you want? Anything that you have on file or him himself, I believe, Black is sheltering him within the walls. No one's showing anyone within the walls. Range. And all I know about Hugo Towers is that he's a scumbag ex anarchist that's been hanging and around. I'm going to wake to... up any private who knows. Yeah. Don't mind us. Hi, boys. <laughs> oh. I'm going to wake up any private who knows any information on Hugo Towers. He wants to uh, repent, like you could say, for the sins that he's done against humanity. And he's been working towards paying off the debt that he has caused and the sins that he have uh, caused across these uh, 
disgusting lands and against the soldiers that protect the human race as a whole. Do you have contact with this individual? Nope. None of you have any contact whatsoever. One of you do. Do you have, do you have contact with him? No, I don't think so. He never gave me, you know, any PDA or anything. For I trust him enough to travel with you us. and uh, to put your men's lives on the line for him. Are you not listening? It's because he's trying to no, work, work off the debt that he has caused. He has caused so much harm towards the duty soldiers out here. He shot the duty soldiers. He has caused nothing but grief to the families of those that have died to his hands. He is a scum. One, I do not care for. So if I could give you him on a silver platter, I fucking would. But I don't associate myself with ex-anarchists who have only been a loner for a couple of weeks. A man like that who destroys and uh, burns all the bridges of everything he's created since here is not one that I would want in my organization. Yet, I cannot help you. So what else can I offer you for the man on his knees? No. Give me a moment to speak with my colleague because uh, I can tell both of us uh, we are not quite seeing eye to eye on the situation, right? We're going in circles a little bit and that's uh, wasting both our time. Cricket, a word. Can I, like, put my hands down or something? Sure. What? I, uh... uh. I imagine they don't have contact. I bet. I don't uh, about sitting down. He's taken off. He's not going to say a word to them. Put your hands back on your head, then, Black. Be they can't provide us with this Hugo oh, Towers. I know we want to do a swap, but I don't think it's in the cards. Times that they've been spotted to escorting Hugo Towers. I'm aware of that, but you have to consider he's not just an ordinary loner. They're aware he's an ex-freedomer. They might be uh, pushing him to, uh, you know, prove himself as trustworthy, but that doesn't mean they're. Um, you know, they got him on speed dial. We can keep asking, keep trying, but it's clear that they're not going to um, provide him. You know, perhaps we resolve this situation with no further bloodshed in exchange for um, receiving him. Perhaps not right now. The next time he's at their gates. All right. Makes sense. He's an ex-anarchist. Why the fuck would you care about him? Suspicious to the military occupation, how he's been spotted on multiple nations. This true, however, you, you, and you do not care for an ex anarchist. All we ask for is whenever you see him, you're going to tell us where he is. All right, you know, uh, if I see Ramu, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know, you know? As I said, I don't give right. a fuck about him. This, uh, this situation has resulted in the death of two mercenaries and two duty men. Neither of us has gained in this situation and the individual in question is still at large. This has not been particularly productive. So uh, if I might suggest, I understand it's in duty's best interest and your philosophy to protect the people of humanity, to protect loners. But in future, you can see how this uh, pans out. It's not good for either of us. Yeah, you know, maybe in future you don't try to take people when they're in the protection and in the, uh, you know, the presence of duty soldiers, you know, because if he's working off a debt, then they're going to make sure he works it off, you know. If you take him, uh, then anyone might think that we just allow you to take people while they're traveling with us, which isn't the case, my friends. Now, I don't know what kind of deal you have with the general, and I'm not going to try to break no deals, but, I mean, you could remain respectful and uh, try to keep my men out of your firing lines when it comes to business all right you're hurt i hear you also i expect the relations today as they have both got the piece of the pie today get on your feet sorry this has gone the way it has to so speak I. to us next time please could have all been avoided <laughs> all right good day Fuck me. See each other soon, gentlemen. Take care. What a mess. You're fucking liars. Fucking liars.
see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. He's going to a trade tunnel. Go to the Alright, I'll cut him off. Wait. One by pop your archibald, come on. Hey Loader, put your fucking hands up. This is the mercenary, stop where you are. Loner, put your fucking hands up! Do it now! Put your fucking hands up now, you motherfucker! Don't make a fucking move. On your knees. On your knees now, the way it's it, the way, bleed. Uh, good job, you caught me, motherfucker. On your stomach right now before I kill you, come on. On your stomach, you have five seconds to get on your stomach. State your name. Uh, Worst perimeter. Stand up. Someone take his right, mask off. Uh, one of you contact. Fair. Barry, you're gonna go with me, alright? We're gonna take this man. He's not going to be in binds. We're going to make sure he does not die. We're going to meet back up with Bok. We're going to take him to the army warehouses. You understand? Uh, yeah. Alright, well, let's go meet with Bok. You go tell no. I'm gonna unbind you. I want You're gonna to go this way. Definitely, I'll get him. There, copy there. Have I loaded you first? Does the work, gentlemen. Yo, Hugo. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm still gonna do you this dignity. Do you have any last words before you meet whatever creator you believe in? Uh, I guess, I guess I do. You know, I thought I was gonna take this to the grave, but you guys seem to hate people who fake their death, so... You know... I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one that faked my death. I saw someone the other day. I saw his face and I, and I knew, didn't we? Right then and there. Uh, are you talking Gold. about, uh, talking Swap about, uh, humanity? Uh -huh. You I rat, was about to ask my motherfuckers! Now, uh, gentlemen. It's no secret that, uh, you know, our organizations have had a bit of a shaky past and got no long at all times. But I think I'm not alone in uh, having the opinion that we've done some good work together recently. You know, um, I think we've achieved a lot and I'm excited to see us continuing to do business. Mm -hmm. It's good for your pockets and good for ours. I mean, I personally would agree with that. You went above and beyond in the capturing of Hugo. That was very good work I saw from you. I. I would agree with you. I made yeah. sure to bring him nice and safe and sound to your front door mm -hmm. Elusive little rat. Helped with the execution of a dangerous map. I appreciate it. We have, um, you know, some agreements at the moment as far as entering uh, the army warehouses. You now, with the increase in monolith activity, and we have deliveries to make to you, business to run here. It's not safe to be sitting outside the walls. To be quite frank, be to my preference if we were to uh, move forward from there. I'm sure you consider our work neutral enough. We we won't expect you guys to message us every time you guys come here. But it'd be nice though, you know, if you want to shoot us a message, maybe you'll get, get a nice freedom or to come out and chat with you if you're bored. Maybe give some weed and shit and maybe some spare shoes. I'm sure we'll uh, uh, keep that in mind, definitely. Yep. Please, please, please. For all very safe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, you guys gotta be so fucking official, man, you know? It's like, you guys can just vibe here, you know? Uh, look at all here, all those shots. Uh, you know how much we love paperwork. Yeah, don't you guys get tired <laughs> of that shit, man? Uh, no, it's very therapeutic. <laughs> alright, alright, whatever, you know, whatever your poison is, man, you know? There's better, there's better, <laughs> there's better therapies to have in the zone than paperwork, but to each their own. Man, you know, I won't judge. Better uses for paper, I'm sure you'd say. <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking good one, man. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I think we're done here. But uh, good talk, gentlemen. Looking forward to future business. All right, good to talk to you guys. Me too. Thanks for fucking Bye. up. Bye. Stay looking good. All right, that's for that. Yeah, you too.
Finally, after weeks of watching over our shoulders, life had returned to a sense of normalcy. But like all good things in the zone, it was terribly short-lived. of the monolith, you and the lands of the Allfather, the one true deity. So what is it you see in his lands? Transiting for business doesn't involve you. All the business in his lands involves the warriors of the monolith. Well, gentlemen, it doesn't involve you today. So warriors of fortune, you Seeking your misfortune. An option you have is to return to Dead City, and that is all. As the All Father speaks to us, he guides us. In that guidance, it is bloodshed. Slava Monolita. Back inside, cease your operations and flee from this holy paradise while you can. Did you but, pop uh, a fucking hydraulic buck? You all right? <laughs> it's all not right, my so serv. It's not my servos. It's. Not, I'm just. If it is bloodshed that you wish for, then it is what you will receive. Glory to the monolith. Mind them, they're fucking trespassing if they're coming this way. No, no, they're out yep. for blood! Oh, shit. Firing the positions, get ready to blood. engage. Alright, reload. Looks like they want the uh, death dent. Evidently! Kill them, but it's there it is. One, I killed one. One down, one down. Far left! That rifle's gonna be a problem! Tree. Far left! Watch your feet. Eyes on the rifle, man. Tree line, left side. I think I killed one. 200 meters. Let's go across, left side, left side, move it. Use the trees for cover, stay left. Eat that. Two contacts down, two contacts down. 
On me, on me! On the contact one now! Right. One more! Eight, there's one more! Contact down! Contact down! There might be one fucking more! Fanatics, they You're the one that's gonna die here, you piece of fucking hell! Secure the area. Control. There Put a bullet in there. Right head. side. Check there, the right side of the road. Sniper left on the right. I need security. I'm Understood. I'm on you. You got bodies. Get a perimeter. Well, by, by the, the truck. truck! By the truck! One more to go! Your old father didn't save these brothers of yours, huh? What do you think it's gonna save you? Come on! Regroup! One day, one day! Contact down! Drop you together! I'm fucking good. Go by me. I was way up on the hill to the right. To the right, in the trees. Could be one more. Call out status. I'm up. Green. Stand good. Lions down. Uh. Get some control on those fucking fanatic bodies. Put another in their heads. You. Let's get it. Watch your fire! Yo, identify! Oh, 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 easy, easy. Free stalkers. Hey, free stalker, free stalker. No, 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 get out of here, get out of here. Please, get out of here. Go. You need to go. Monolith XO is in the area. You're gonna get your beds blown on. Go! Too many big rates. You're going to have to simplify for this guy. I just find this situation that we're in a bit on a nerve. What does this word mean? The, uh, the unnerving. Unnerving? Like, the loss of nerves. I'm a bit on edge. You know? Oh. What is it that you seek aside the release from your comrade? Money? Power? Oh, he's asking me what I desire over my comrades. I desire money over my fucking comrades. What are you saying? Warriors Morning. of fortune, as you refer to yourselves, that same fortune will lead to your misfortune. Falcon? Right. I know, I think that was Ram, if you are referring to the guy who called himself the fucking prince. I'm, I'm broke as shit, I'm just barely getting by. You're in an exosuit. Is this... No, is this... Good points. <clears throat> well, this is going to be either good or uh, not so good news. We only have one singular SV-98. Take it to the uh, the house, Bob. Okay. Hey, the deal over. Did you, did you, did you get yeah, the deal over? Deal's over. Yeah. Deal's over. Exactly. Kind of going for him, man. You guys need to go back to the outskirts of the city. As soon as they're up there, they're gonna leave. And I can Why is that? Why are they gonna let you sit down here? Go. I'm sticking your fucking uh, rifle at you. I do not trust. I do not trust yeah, you. Like I do not trust your kind. I, there is eye. no more really negotiation. Comply. Or die. <clears throat> I'll return to you with an answer shortly. Hey, hi. 
My vengeance and my ruthlessness is not going to be the reason I get my brother Lucas killed today. But for you, for you I have a message. After the day, there is going to be no mercy. There is going to be no hesitation to be pulling the trigger. The next time you come to the city of the dead, I advise you come with bullets and not words. For you have taken my brothers like Gecko and Mantis and Jaguar. And this cannot be forgiven. Fuck a move. These lands Wombat. are not your Get over here. home. They are not for you. Locust. Unbind yourself in the Look at me in the eyes. If the yeah. luck could if luck turns on the other side, just know. We'll revenge you. I think I'll be fine. One one back. There we go. Why do they have white eyes? Just I don't know, the radiation? They don't seem to be killed by radiation. I've never seen that before. Let's move, come on. Never noticed. It's unnatural. I don't like leaving locusts for that long. I don't trust. There's another one on the roof watching us behind us. Mm. On our uh, left. They're all over this fucking village. There was one in that fucking house I was in. Don't Trying to kill every one of those motherfuckers I lay my eyes on. Uh, I counted five happen. of them. I counted five, remember. It all be fucking means meat if they touch him. I don't trust him. Now look who's here. That was all on me. My fuck got I was literally like two feet out the fucking door. Hurry up and go grab a gun real quick before they come back. Yeah, let's move. Kill, ты будешь растоптан. Самонарис. Враг монолита ранен. Враг монолита. Искореняем. The monolith had become our greatest threat. Their numbers were many. Their forces well trained and well armed. They didn't feel pain, fear. We had no choice but to fight. And for a time, we stood a chance. Until one day, we got the news. All mercenary forces on this frequency, you are to move to Dead City for immediate extraction. I say again, immediate extraction. Departure window T minus two hours. Our employers were pulling out.
it's um it's Wombat. How's um how's Bosnia? Or the Bahamas? Or wherever the fuck. Uh, I'm sorry. Look anyway, it's been a fucked up week, man. I uh just got back from an op in Pripyat and uh lo and fucking hole. I mean, look at the place. It's empty. They um well they left Dushman here. Unfortunately. Fuck you, Dushman. They uh, decided a zone. Corporate, right? They think it's a uh, sunk cost. Not worth the money or some shit like that. <laughs> Who'd have funk it? I mean, the police has rubles for a fucking currency. It was never going to be profitable. They, um, they pulled everyone out. Well, almost everyone. Those in another sector or an operation. We can go fuck ourselves, apparently. Don't know of many contractors, but there's a few of us still kicking around. Myself, Sphinx, and yeah, the rest haven't made themselves known. Oh, secure communications are shut down as well, so that's just lovely. I'll just keep the business as usual, I guess, for the moment. Hired guns always in demand around here. And, uh, well, it's going to be a while before anyone picks us up. If they pick us up. At least taking that fucking radio. Anyway, Tick, stay safe out there, mate, yeah? Wishing you were here. And, uh, wishing I was anywhere but. One bat out. You know, the written word is uh, is rather particular. You know, that gentleman there, he's my employer as at this time, and uh, unless he tells me to put my rifle down, I don't have any intention to. I suggest you make your decision. Uh, okay, put down, Merc, put down your weapon. Put, put that, it down? Merc. Yeah, put it down. Sure. Come with us. A merchant of death. One who provides an option to those who invade these lands to then create more destruction to where murder and banditry become a form of normality. A routine. One that is practiced day in and day out. And as the warriors of the monolith arrive, the Alphather has sent his messengers on a crusade to cleanse the settlement of Rostock of those who continue these practices. And with that comes repercussions for your actions. Each and every one of you. Now this man who facilitates much business as you would call it for your organization what does his life mean to you and the duty soldiers mm. quite simply the lives of these two men and the ones around me they mean everything to me this is my goal to ensure that they have a fruitful life I don't know why you decided to come here to my city and terrorize these innocent people. If you want to talk, you can talk to me. These people, though, they are not a part of this. That's where you are wrong. Upon their own decisions decided to invade the lands of the monolith, which now before the weapon the Allfather wields in his hand. The reborn. We to cleanse these lands from the plague that you and the other infidels make up. Hmm. Loner. What is your name? Uh, Ethan Miller. Hmm. Miller. 
Though it is not worth the patch that me and my comrades wear. I'm going to do anything to keep him alive. Let my people go s safely. They'll come with you instead. You may believe that you dictate what happens here. But you are sadly mistaken. Now failing to heed these words will result in your blood on the pavement. Each and every one of you put your hands above your head. Mm. Gentlemen. You are surrounded. Do something foolish and all of you will die. Your fate is yet to come. Your instructions, but if you Sergeant, attempt you to say? dictate... Mm. We seem to be a little off-footed. My Put professional your opinion, gentlemen. I think we are, as they say, surrounded. Dada. Are you good? Hands up, gentlemen. Smart choice. Brothers, sisters. I will restrain them. You keep your weapons trained. Mercenary, step forward. This individual as you were paid to protect their life. The Father wishes differently. These men before you, all willing to throw each other into darkness to save oneself. Your choices have led you to where you are at this very moment. One of which you will then have to decide. Pick up the pistol. This Warm may up. sound a uh, little harsh, but this loner is the an option. Warm up. As this duty soldier stated, anything to save the life of this one. He is exempt from your choices. With all due respect, Sergeant, my, uh, up with them. my loyalties as per my contract to the organization of duty. This man, he means nothing to me. I understand that one, one bad, but he means everything to me. The lies of everyone. If there is blood to be spilled today, it's not going to be yours or theirs. You... you under contract with us, da? Which means you do what we pay you to do. Assist in the defense of Rostock. My men will attest to it. You had no choice. Wombat. Yeah. I fought with you. Blood with you. I know... You say this is to reflect poorly on the mercenaries. You know as well I do. It is not your fault. This is not a decision you can control. I need you to do this. Not just for you. But for my men. Fucking do it! Glory to the monolith. Good man, Konya. Slava, monolita. Slava, 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 you should reconsider. Your principles should not define you, nor your future. Take him as an example. We're not here in harm. I do not have my rifle in hands. Wombat and I uh, were heading towards the barrier after oh, seeing uh, what horrors happened inside the bar. Tell me, men of the mercenaries, you claim to have been working for the military. 
You were loners, as they so call themselves. Mm-hmm. And you, when was the last time you took a contract from one of these men? Um, uh, signed by me. Yeah, it's been been a while. Tell me, what was running through your head when you decided that you would not shoot his warriors, even on such a contract? Saw your handiwork in the bar, as I said. Not looking to wind up like those loners. Assumably, you share the same feeling. Something like that. Then, as always, we stare into the eyes of a heretic. We stare into the soul of darkness and greed. As I am sure you have heard many times before, men of the mercenaries choose to work for this mere money. Well, we will see if you will work for your mere survival. Now stand up. Struggle from your bindings. You will do as I say from here. Listen closely. You will acquire any soul. It does not matter the number. Providing a soul to his warriors. You will all move towards the city of Rostock. And you will act as if you are under the contract of this one. The man of freedom. If you attempt anything other than what was said, we will know. We will find you. And we will hunt you instead. Seemed to be in a bit of a predicament. Mercenary on the left cut his binds and moved to the structure on the hill. Another successful capture, brothers. A success in the eyes of the All Father. You seek more violence. More violence you will receive. Before the end, one of you will fall. This isn't over yet, Heinrich. As it seems, both are too weak. Kneel to the ground. Tell me why you should be spared, as these have not. Not exactly men of virtue. Hard to find a reason for us to be spared, if you ask me. It's up to your all that father to decide whether we die or not. It's his choice. I mean, what else would we say? You know, the kind of work we do. While this beauty occurs, I will pray to the All Father for guidance. You will hear the words and say nothing. You will let them pass through you. And this is what will transpire. Oh, holy monolith, we call to you now. Show us the wisdom, show us the way, continue to provide the path of excellence that you claim that you wish for a life and something further, and you will get it. Slava Manalita.
Irony, isn't it? The man trusts me, but I don't trust him. Ram's a good man, but he's uh, kind of an idiot. I'll do what I can to look after him. Ram is an important person to me, and uh, I do not want to see him dead. Yeah, I guess we shared it. There are too few in my circle of uh, colleagues that do. Yeah, I'm aware of that, to be honest. Didn't really expect sheltering a mercenary deserter myself, to be honest. Especially not this one. I appreciate you looking out for him in whatever ways you can. And um, if you ever need anything for doing this for me, uh, just ask. Yeah, I will uh, let you know. Post. Travel safe, yeah. Yourself mm -hmm. as well. Stay safe. Take care. I'm going to be out right with it. There may be a time soon where uh, we're both going to need to disappear. Uh, sure. Wonder you could help us out. Um. I don't even know how to elaborate this, to be honest. There might be times where people might be looking for us. It is more just the fact that I'd rather disappear and us disappear. And uh, the only people that will know who we actually are are you. Sure. Get some uh, paperwork going. Get you both um, some separate identities. Boris, thanks for your time. Merci. Sure, no worries. Uh, once again, if anything pops up and you need a hand, give me a call. Yeah. Stand now. Uh to retrieve your cold. weapon. Shit. Now, from what has transpired, what do you think that I will tell you now? I don't know what you're gonna tell me now, but it better be something pretty fucking convincing for what you just did to my colleague. If he doesn't recover from his injuries, move on mind to hunt you fuckers down for that. Let me tell you something, mercenary. Mm -hmm. Your emotion currently blinding your own actions. Something that you must learn to let go. Your companion will survive. Simply with bruises, if anything. Though those with more wounds that lay in the field in front of the white structure, they may have a worse time recovering. You have completed what has been tasked before you. Yet, your purpose is not through as the All-Father require there's more you're telling me there's more after all he's just put his throat you want more your kind as feeble and violent as they may be they may provide and be useful in other ways why do you think you are in this position both disposition and still breathing and wandering land why do you think you are here you know up until yesterday i wouldn't have had an answer for you but one of your um let's call him a preacher he was so kind as to enlighten me to a curiosity the reason i'm alive is not because of what i've done or what i haven't done it's because you're um you're all father yeah because he's decided it I thought I was going to die that day, as I do every other day. So I hoped he'd at least enlighten me as to why that is. And he did. He said it's because your old father wills it. And that's all. It's not up to him. It's not up to the circumstance. It doesn't matter what I do. It's up to your old father to decide whether or not you pull the trigger. You would be correct. For he, he is the one that will decide the fate of all. And there is one other thing that you will do. There is one that the All-Father would seek. The one that you will seek and provide any information on. 
goes by two names. It is the name of Siren, the name of Daisy. I know a lot about her because I'm the one who made her disappear. It's not two names, it's three. She goes by the name of Nadia Vasilenko now. Anything about her identity that happens to exist, I have on file. You will require any information needed for this individual's capture. Whether you do it yourself, any chance to thwart these actions, and you will be found yourself and sought out for death. You will do this without question. This is where we will depart you, mercenary. From here on, you will be watched closely. that will eventually lead to your demise today on this day then you shall be judged right let's hope we don't die mm -hmm. both of you you will stand at the concrete pillar, side by side. Tell me... What does the other know of what you have been told? Well, about as much as I do. Then explain why he is here. For you were talked to alone there must be a reason it's just the two of us you get that we um <clears throat> well respectfully don't have much else now if i'm going to be walking into a uh, little ambush i'm not not having sphinx at my side you were going to do this alone with zero aid not even others in your midst, yet you are here with another. What use are you other than death? You're not gonna like what I'm about to say here, but said that he said he would work alone. He lied about that. If my memory doesn't fool me, you also lie. We before were promised life if we told us to do, yet I've been shot in the head and luckily survived for this ballistic thing on my head. Maybe we lie, but just we lie. Then you both understand the predicament in which you have placed yourselves. If there is any, any kind of treachery, this will be known sooner than you can think. You will be sought out if this is the case and both of you mangled and fed to the children, bodies ripped apart. As it seems, both of you are all that you have left. And so, you should know that if it comes to the point where which you fail, you will not be spared, either of you. You have gathered information enough so that we know where the individual lays. And if they do so wear this green armband, they are not far in grasp. The main reason that both of you work is for the solace of each other's lives. Is this correct? Yeah. Failure is not an option. 
Brother, your death can come with darkness, or it can witness, witness the unspeakable. This is only for the All Father to decide. Let us continue, brothers and sisters, on the Holy Crusade, as we always have. Welcome to stay here until nightfall. Unfortunately, business dictates it must be in cuffs. But if you raise your hands, do it now. Because if you raise your hands, don't and pull a gun. Cuff them. Right, keep a what? gun on them. What is this? What are you doing? It's just business. You know how it is. Cuff the girl, come on. Left hand and right, don't struggle. No worries. You know, this is a. Uh, I never saw this coming. This is a. Uh, see, usually whenever I hire you guys, I'm worried about you guys getting hurt than me, you know? Because uh, you guys. Uh, I feel like I'm. I don't know. Uh, I don't I think like you're way when, too nice uh, to them, man. Maybe I am. Keep moving. No right or left, freedom or follow the mercenary. Get to the wall now, all of Inside you. The room. Sons of fucking bitches! The path that we have been set upon is true and righteous. Those around us shall know this to their very death. Going further, you will rely on your senses, ones of which that you will follow. Hello? I'm gonna have to get out of the dog. I really say this, but... Uh... <sighs> Scared. Jesus. Ugh, what the fuck? Ugh, I can Sorry. breathe. Fucking hell. There is more to this beautiful land than you will ever know. You are in a location where no one can help you. No one will hear your cries from these cells. And you as well. Now, that you are able to see, tell me, Nadia, why do you believe that you are here? No idea, most likely because I decided to uh, come to this place. This is where we will explain to you exactly your presence amongst us. You, both of you, what have you been set out to do since the very first time that you have been met? We, um, <clears throat> delivered them because, because you asked us to, because, well, because she walked the path you wanted her to and then turned her back on it. Is it coming together now? You have been captured because you yourself have allowed the decision to be so. From the very first time, the very early moments in which you and I have spoken, you were found undecisive in your own thoughts. We both know the path that was chosen. Some are given a chance at redemption. Though those who turn their back on this redemption, they are frowned upon amongst the worst. Tell me, man of freedom, how long have you seen these individuals, specifically this one, amongst your walls? And do you know who they are? Why does it matter to you? It's just a fucking stalker. You claim that they are just a stalker as you 
so name them. Yet, they are more than this beneath the skin. They're a good person. Not as kind at heart. Man of freedom. Do you actually think those who have done the worst of their actions would come to you first with them? No. Instead, you would stand and you would be unknown of these actions until they were uncovered, until you were told yourself what these actions may have been. The one who calls himself Wombat. Tell me of the information that you have provided on the one who names herself now Nadia. Daisy, we know you used to be Siren. We know what you used to do. Don't act like you're Ram is person. going to be a dead man, you fucking bastard. Ram's never going to know about any of this, and no one is ever going to know about any of this. Mm, you really think that I was that foolish? Trust me, precautions have been taken. And, uh, Sphinx, I'll explain the Ram situation later. Just trust me. I would not trust him if I were you, Sphinx. The fuck are we talking about? He fucking paid me to uh, hide a fucking mercenary deserter. Fucking serious? Yeah. If you turned your back on us, I'd do the same for you. Motherfucker. <laughs> You're telling me the fucking guy that steals from us stabs us in the back. Gonna hide him like that? Yeah. I'll be a fucking hypocrite if I tell you that's bad. Hell, I fucking hide it for him. I don't find him multiple times. For many of our brothers have turned their back on us for other reasons. I should have killed him when I had the chance to be completely honest. Yeah, you would do that, wouldn't you? Still got mm -hmm. those renegade blood running through your veins, hmm? You shut your fucking mouth, Wombat. I don't want you to get involved Let in this, Huckleberry. Flow. You were never meant to be here. Huckleberry. The words that are coming out now are the truths that each of you should hear. Just do me a fucking favor, Wombat. Next time... Don't hide shit from me. I didn't hide it from you. Who do you think I hid it from? Fucking Scarab. Yeah, Lee. from fucking Scarab. The dead man I killed killed Ram. And for what? He turned his back on us just as much. Look, Nadia. Slow my job. Siren. Oh, don't even talk to me. Shut the fuck up, Wombat. However you want to call yourself, if a fucking bullet has to be put in your head, if I have to hand you over to these... these people, so that I might live another day, so that Sphinx might live another day, I can sleep with that. No, of course you can. I'm not a man of virtue, Ivan. If someone had to put a bullet in my head so they could do the same, I'd understand. I'd fight no. to nail to live, but I'd understand. Do you understand now, man of freedom, why these questions were asked to you, Siren? What of the worst you have done here? There is no secrets to be had. Oh, that I cooperated with you. That was most likely the worst that I have done. I brought death to stalkers. Would you work next to those who would simply hand over even your own kind to those of what you would claim are cultists the blood that runs in people such as this it never changes you did not hide it i was aware of what she is or what she was from like the first time i truly met you as a freedomer we uh, we had a long conversation but that doesn't mean second chances are uh, thrown out the window. You may be weak in this matter, but the All Father will get exactly, exactly as he wishes. Everyone who walks their path here, they will die, including yourself. 
You can't keep taking people away from me. There's no need. You took away Colonel Zupkov. A man that treated me like a father. Someone that I didn't, you know, I wasn't able to know. Now you're taking away someone I care so deeply for. I... I... will soon... bring the fall... of all shut of you. Shut up, Huckleberry, shut up! Can't keep getting you away shut with this. Up. You will try... and many more will die. Sorry that I disappointed you. Okay. But you know why I did it. And you know why I came to seek shelter? Da. And you also know that I would not have harmed you or any of your other brothers. Da. As I said before, do not interrupt. Let these words flow through you. Do not speak and simply listen. Or we will call for guidance. We thank you, O oh Monolith, for revealing the cunning plans of your enemies to us. May your light shine down on the souls of the brave soldiers who gave their lives in service to your will. Onward, warriors of the Monolith, avenge your fallen. Blessed as they are in eternal union with the Monolith, you are not worthy of his warrior's bullets, and your death will still arrive, but by the hands of a mercenary. Don't you do it. Don't. Brothers, sisters, really on am. this day we rejoice as the blood of the infidels enriches these holy lands. Glory to the monolith. Slava Monolita. Slava Monolita. Slava Monolita. If you have any words, it's the least I can do. No, I don't. Do what you have to do. Then darkness to your soul. I hope you find peace somewhere else. <laughs> now lower the weapon. Mumbat, you're going to rot in hell. Either I will kill you myself or... I swear to God. Mama. <laughs> There's nothing I can ever say that's gonna make this right. I know you understand why we have to do these things sometimes when we're given no other choice, but it doesn't lighten the load at all. There's nothing else we could have done. It was her or us. But I'm sorry you had to witness that. I don't have any words for you, Mumbat. He, he will remain here, and you will see him again soon enough. All right. Hopefully less injured than last time. I'll spend a few hours dressing wounds. Man of freedom, this day brings forth great understanding, but you will not have any cognition of how such an act is possible. With this injection, your memory will wither, and you will bear no recollection of the events that took place here. Slava Monolita. You will be applied this covering once more. And you... You will then follow my voice, as you had prior. 
Do not allow your emotions to take a hold of you. But when you walk forward, you will be returned. This was no mere dream, Wombat. This, this was all according to his will. Your life spared for only a mere time. But more will be had, more shall be done. Remember, Wombat, death is only the beginning. First off, what's your name? It's Freddy Two Toes. Freddy Two Toes, okay. And uh, your colleagues or such, people you're traveling with, their names? His name is Brisket. Brisket. Yeah, I like the, the thing you eat. And the food. Okay. Brisket. Yeah, yeah, Brisket. Sure, all right. Give me a minute to get the details out the way. I'll forge you the uh, contract assignment. You cost my precious life! Let's push these motherfuckers! Alright, sounds good. Holy shit, who are these fuckers? I've seen someone fight so hard for. I was expecting for them what? to be somebody you knew. Check the, uh, check the bodies. Uh, what, what was it they were talking about? Some sort of package. You've got to be kidding me. It's like a fucking rail gun. Oh, fuck. Next destination's Dead City, alright? Oh, well, it's simple enough. Hey, yeah, simple. <clears throat> alright, let's keep moving. Fucking bandits. Fucking bandits. Every fucking time, I'm, I'm just, uh... A little depressed about Brisket, you know? It's like one of the only guys I ever trusted in this place. A, a little depressed? You just lost your best mate and you're a little de- No fucking shit. Listen. Now's not the time to worry about stuff like that. You need to stay focused. Keep your head on a swivel. Keep your eyes straight. There'll be time to grieve for it later, but don't beat yourself up. It's gonna take time to get over something like that. So, uh... You knew Brisket before the last time we all met. You said, right? I've met him a couple times, yeah. Yeah, he was a pretty dependable person. He uh, was a good guy to know. At least we got the uh, important part. Yeah. I suppose you're right. All right, I'm good. Got some zombified company. Let's take a ride. Let's get some high ground. Yeah, it's a nice little defense. I'll get word out to employers. Keep an eye out for any um, unsavory folks. All right, let's get some shelter. I'm gonna switch to a weapon that packs a bit of a punch. I hear the employers. You hear the... You're telling... Oh. Okay, I think I'm putting two and two together. Let's get a move on then. The employers are scary fucks. Yeah, no shit. Alright, following your lead. And now, you stand before me. Though this was a test, you stand on the pillar. Take your rifle into your hand. What the fuck do you mean? I did everything you asked. Those who try to swindle. Those who try anything other than what was said. They do not deserve breath. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, I have to say that brisket. Say hi to Brisket, you dumb fuck. 
this item, this relic which lays on the table. It is now in our position, and the loose end has been tied. All of this due to your effort, and those who were not worthy enough to survive. You have been doing these tasks with ease, fulfilling the missions, and are somehow still living. Tell me, mercenary, since the beginning, since the very first time that I have seen your face, what inside of you has changed other than that should you have seen the transgressions of those around you? Has anything changed inside of you? It's weird. I'll say it's weird. Speaking to you, working. I don't know what it is, it's just, it's just different. You say treat it like a contract and to be quite frank, it's what I've been doing for a long time. It paints a much prettier picture in my head to say, hey, this is your employer for today. Do the job, get paid. But this doesn't feel like contract work. This feels like something different. I'm sure as time goes on, mercenary, that you will understand and that it is simply more than this. That the lives that you take and those who suffer from your action, it has a greater purpose. There is more to it than that. There's a few questions I've wanted to answer for a long time. So be it. Speak. Did you kill Caribou? He was a mercenary of your companionship. Is this the one you speak? Yeah. Yeah, him. Each soul wandering here finds a way. Each soul that comes to these lands are guided in different increments. The holy monolith has its way, and it always will. Yet this question that you ask, you will not receive the answer. It just keeps me up at night sometimes. Let me remind you of the emotion that you feel. This will weaken you. This will continue to eat away at your soul. You will lose your strength if you simply think only of those who have fallen, only of those who you no longer see or are close to. You may worry for those who are in the same position as you, and we will depart and continue on the crusade, as we always have. Do not allow your emotion to continue to weaken you. Slava, Manolita. Slava, Manolita. Goodbye. How can you do that? So like, one day you're uh, fighting along uh, someone's side, and the next you're fighting against them. How? Like, you spill blood with those people, and then you're going to kill them. How can, like, one do that? There's no way. It's all about money. There has to be, you know, some, some like, uh, solid reason. Like a lot of people, I have a family back home. We don't always see eye to eye, but they're my family all the same. And that money goes back to my family, not to me. And that's what kept me going for a long time. A corporation deals in dirty business, and they might not be honest about where the money's going. And if it's not going home, I've taken a lot of lives for no reason. You truly don't know if. Uh... 
what you're doing here is making a difference back at home. Are you afraid to, uh, to one day return home to nothing? I'm afraid to find out. I've taken a lot of lives, spilled a lot of blood, for absolutely nothing. It's got to mean something. It's got to have a purpose. The, if I was you, and I had to have that fear on my, my back, it'd be horrible. Yeah, unlike you, I don't have, uh, I don't know if I have a family or anything back home. You know, freedom is now, uh, per se, my family. The money I make is, uh, nothing really of importance to me. The importance to me is, uh, keeping my family alive. My family is here, but my family has other families. Families not in the Ukrainian Chernobyl exclusion zone. Families spread out amongst the entire world. Yet, uh, what they're doing here still making a difference back at home. Artem, I believe, um, his daughter, she had, um, cancer. And Artem, uh, he was able to, uh, acquire artifacts that were, uh, able to, uh, cure her cancer. Cure her. She is now living happily with his mother, or with her mother, Artem's wife. There is change in our faction. We make things happen. Let me, uh, at least help in some way. Help uh, ensure that safety, not just you uh, on a tightrope. I'll give it some thought. Not a lot that scares me, but the idea of upsetting the status quo, doing something different, something that might put them in danger. The people I work for, they're bad people. I want to see my little girl grow up. I don't know what they do to my family back home if I walked away from all this. Give it some thought. Don't just give it to another man, no. Sure, alright, I can do you that much. Anyway, you never heard any of this. The. You know, it's been a while since I've had a, uh, a loner who's dependable, does good work. Found myself a little bit uh, preoccupied with other means. It's not to say we don't have our eyes and our ears still with all their fingers and all the pies and such, but I don't look after them individually anymore. Don't have time for it. But oh, you're competent enough. Appreciate the kind words. I'd hope I'd be after being a wolf for so long. It's one thing that yeah. I learned, it's how to survive by myself. It certainly makes it a bit more, um, well, how do I put it? I don't have to explain things to you. I don't have to put you through the hoops. All right, looks like you're giving me a decent bit of information, so, um, <laughs> Yeah, you I didn't see you running. Makes me business. Uh, you loners like to uh, protect your currency and such, right? So uh, go ahead and throw it in the locker and come back up here. We'll talk more business. All right. I'm sure as time goes on, mercenary, that you will understand and that it is simply more than this. That the lives that you take and those who suffer from your action, it has a greater purpose.
Yeah, the city's not exactly well maintained, as you can imagine. Surrender to the holy monolith infidels. Surrender now. Surrender. You are surrounded. Both of you. Drop your weapons and communication devices to the floor immediately. Alright, alright, we're compliant. Put my hands down. <coughs> it's a fucking exercise, don't do anything stupid. Afterwards, you will move away from these items and place your hands back up. Brothers, retrieve the equipment. Come on, I'm about to put my fucking gas mask back on. Both of you. Yeah. Do I'm gonna you put my gas mask on. To maintain yourself. Alright. Now, you will move further down the road out of his radiance. Alright, we're moving. <coughs> Oh, all right, we're moving. Tell me, what do they call you? Call me Sparrow or Elliot, depending on the organ of me. Keep your mask on your faces, for you will need it to survive. Brothers, let us exit the building. Continue on with these. Move from the wall and continue at a jogging pace. Follow my brothers. You will be applied a covering. Yet, before this, brother, restrain them. Yes, brother. Coverings will be removed, and you will place your hands back to your head. Do you have any inkling where your bodies have been brought to? It smells familiar, no. like rust and metal. Metal on my tongue, like blood. Tell me of the connection that you have made with this one. I trusted him. I don't know why. I had a hunch. I trusted him and uh, him and that free stalker girl, Daisy, to take good care of someone that meant a lot to me. Former mercenary. I um, <laughs> don't know why I did. I guess it was just at a time where. Oh, Kim, I was wondering. Didn't have anyone I could trust. Not my colleagues. Didn't have friends. And, uh... I don't know. Because I latched on a bit. As all things go, mercenary. I... I will give you a lesson. Or at least he will. Tell me, Sparrow. On the day at the construction site, after you and your friend slaughtered that man, what did I tell you you can recall about your emotions? Emotions make people weak. Of all things, emotion will erode away your ability for clearness of sight. Your very survival favors at the very moment that you gain attachment. That you feel that you must live for someone else's. You may feel that this reasoning gives you purpose. Leith. Yet both of you, I am sure, know this already. <laughs> Otherwise, you would not be working together. Tell me, Sparrow. Do you know why you're really here? 
No. No, I don't. You are unknowing. Tell me. Mercenary. How many lives? How many individuals do you think that you have claimed while being in correspondence with his warriors? It's too many to count. You mm. have done many services in accordance with Manlil. And you similar in some ways, yet not the same. You, Sparrow, you have become lost in You have done the monolith's will to this point successfully. Sparrow, then to your fate. Come, will walk to me. Brother, bring this one to the staircase. All time come to an end. Now, Wombat. Yeah. You... You have done many tasks. Many things would lead others to their death. Feeling... The feeling of moving towards goals that some... Some would call cultists. Some would kill at the first chance of seeing you have done so continuously, whether for your own survival or for the survival of those closest. You should know this. You asked me a question once, where one of your kind had gone. You asked me if I had killed him, yet this was not the case. It's some, and their visions and past are forgotten, yet flashes of what would, what would come for them. What they had done in the past as well remained with them. Some such as myself. I have pasts of sinning. These flashes brought forward bring images of a scorpion. Bring images of that, of one that would stretch through the pockets of others, survive. This individual, knowing nothing other than the day-to-day -day basis of killing, pillaging, and elsewise. These memories, burned, burned into an imagination. That is unfit for a warrior. Sins of a past which is now forgotten. For the emotion was stripped. You amongst others chosen for a purpose. Which is now laying before you. Well, but I used to engage in various acts of greed. Bearing an emblem of some sort similar to your own but I was able to see the light and to have the veil taken off in front of me there are few who the All Father chooses to serve his will your path up to this point has been one one of many obstacles those that you have met, those that you would have called friends or companions, they, they will forever remember you as the mercenary. But we, we will move forth onto your true judgment, Wombat. Brothers, let us continue on. Follow my brother down the hall. You may have done the bidding for the holy monolith. 
but all who step foot in this holy paradise, they receive the judgment of the holy monolith. I just want it all to mean something. All the lives I've taken, the blood I've shed, it can't be for nothing. It has to have a purpose. The actions of those that serve under the eyes of the monolith. They are of greater meaning than the infidels understand. A greater purpose than oneself.
where you coming from